Eclipse is just days away, and it'll be decades before we get to see it again here in North America. The path of totality passes over southern Illinois, and here in Chicago, we are going to be at nearly 95% totality, so we want you to be prepared. Dr. Geza Zhuk is the Director of Astronomy at the Adler Planetarium and is joining us now to talk a little bit more about how we prepare for all of this. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. All right. So let's talk to folks about sort of the best piece of advice that you can give them if they want to be out there come April 8th and, and get the best shot of this. Okay. So uh, if you want to see this solar eclipse, it's really easy. You just have to be outside. The weather has to be clear or at least, you know, not having cloud over the sun. And you should look up. But first, make sure you have a good approved solar viewer something to keep your eyes safe. The sun is really, really bright, and so you don't want to hurt your eyes. All right, our producer got us a pair right here. You've mm -hmm. got a pair, too. Ben. Okay. These I mean, they really, I mean yeah. to give you a sense, they really do darken. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in these bright studio lights, it almost, you know, it's hard to see anything. For Although sure. you've never looked more beautiful, <laughs> Lourdes. Uh, so let's talk about the difference uh, from what sh people in Chicago will see versus if you make the drive to downstate Illinois. Is it worth that drive? So the view in Chicago is going to be wonderful. Uh, the 95% of the sun is going to be uh, covered. Uh, it's going to be a spectacular sort of thin crescent, uh, and it'll be a wonderful thing. But it doesn't compare to totality. When you uh, go to a total solar eclipse, it's just an incredible uh, thing when the sun just sort of seems to snuff out suddenly and then the corona, the sort of crown of the sun appears and the, the light in the landscape is magical. Uh, definitely, I went to the totality in uh, 2017 and it was just, it was more than I expected. And I'm an astronomer and yeah, I don't, uh, I don't impress easily with <laughs> events, but this was just amazing. Uh, very cool, very cool. Okay, so um, if somebody, like I said, is preparing for this, how much should they be expecting to see? Like, for how long does it last, right? Is it something that just kind of goes, whizzes by in just a, a matter of just a few seconds? How much time will they get? Uh, you'll get a bit, uh, a bit more than that. The partial phases will last a couple hours. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in Chicago, it starts uh, a little bit before 1 o'clock, and then the so maximum coverage of the sun is at 2, and then about 3.20 or so, uh, the, sun, the sun won't be covered anymore. All right, uh, this, this may be outside of your area of expertise, but uh, will animals behave differently, whether that's birds or dogs or cats? about that, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, when that, if totality occur, when totality occurs, if you're on the path of totality, uh, suddenly everything gets quiet. The birds are confused. The animals are like, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, and it's just very different. Uh, and the totality will last minutes. So you won't, but, you know, it won't be blinking. You miss it. Yeah. So. So that's a, okay. So just a, a minute, a couple minutes or so. All right. So I, I know a lot of people are, are kind of thinking, we talked about animals. Anything else that people should prepare for um, come the 8th? Like anything else that changes? Well, one of the sort of cool things about an eclipse is that you're not really, you don't, you're not used to it, but the shadows that we see on the ground. Uh, if you ever look at a tree and there's, there's sort of all those leaves and stuff and it's cast mm -hmm. and it shadows on the ground, you see those little sort of circles of light dancing around? Those are actually images of the sun. And when the sun is partially uh, covered, it will turn to little crescents. Oh. And so there's all sorts of funny shadow uh, patterns that happen. And it's really sort of exciting because things that you just take for granted suddenly change. Uh, so, again... Uh, if you can't find uh, solar glasses, for example, one thing you can do is just make a small little hole in something, a pinhole, and then let uh, the shadow cast in a little bright spot. That'll take the shape of an image of the sun, and you'll be able to follow the eclipse that way. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Geza Zhuk. We appreciate your time. And, of course, uh, the Adler Planetarium is going to be doing all sorts of stuff mm -hmm. uh, throughout the week to get everybody ready and to enjoy the solar eclipse. We're doing our part as well. We invite you to join WGN for coverage of the April 8th eclipse. That's Monday. Our own Tom Skilling will be back from retirement to enjoy the rare celestial event. Demetrius, along with Mike Jansen, will also be in the path of totality, and we'll have additional reports from around the area. Our coverage begins just after the WGN Midday News on Monday at 1 p.m.